Now the reason for this video is um, I haven't used hardly any petrol since 1990. Right? Very well, 93 I should say, since 93. Um, apart from my field banger, <sighs> bought some for that, didn't I? A couple of times, three times, but that's been it. So, knowing that uh, modern petrol has got ethanol in, um, we know, and we know the other things for it, I've never thought about it. Never heard about it until someone mentioned this the other day and said it would make a good video, which I think it will. Last year I did the Briggs, didn't I? And buying some petrol from a friend's garage, which is more expensive, he told me that the ethanol at supermarket petrol, the cheap stuff, is actually added afterwards. I didn't know this, you see. So it's only very recently I've learnt that. So running on this engine, a friend of mine, you can buy super unleaded, which hasn't got ethanol in, you see, so I've been running it on that. And if you remember, I found my Briggs ran better on the more expensive petrol. Anyway, so I've got some stale petrol, I've had a long while, but it's still petrol. So, as it's a uh, petrol video, and We'll see if this starts well. I can move it now, does Right. We'll just see if it starts pretty well. I'll put my foot inside. I'll tell you in a minute. It's a bit cold today, isn't it? But as I say, anyway, still goes. Look. Now we can leave that for a minute. While I do this, it'll give us a just a slight background sound. Now, to get ethanol out of petrol, it's so simple. You just add water and leave it two days. Honestly, it's that simple. So, you want four parts of petrol to one part of water. So, I'm just showing you that. So, I'm going to have to... Stand the camera down here, so you can see me over here, something like that, I think. There we are. I think you can see there. So all you do, got pair, you see, I've got 400 millilitres of petrol. Or you can use 4 litres and or 5 litres and 1 and a quarter litres of water, you know. So, um, but... We may have a look in two days, if it works with this petrol. This petrol, as I say, is stale. And it, this can of petrol, you know, I kept taking a bit out, the stale petrol out, and uh, putting it in a can for washing in. But this is definitely cheap petrol, I know that, but it's gone off. So, just today, as I say, I was looking around and I found this water bottle and I thought that would be ideal because you can do it in a jam jar and then take it out with a syringe but you just shake it up and then this I'm going to hold upside down let me just grab my camera like that and I'm going to put in the shed in the corner oh, oh we need look at that we needn't mark it because it comes up. I'm dithering a bit. You can see where it comes to. Right? Can't you? There. See? You're supposed to mark it. And then look in two days' time and you'll see it's risen a bit, but we're not going to bother with that. You know. Give it a good shake anyway. Like that. What happens is. Apparently, there's plenty of videos about this, but as I said, right, I'm putting that there, like that, and we'll have a look in a couple of days. So, as I say, 
just a short video today but um, you know it needs must isn't it these things are right we'll probably add this results to a video in a couple of days time 